Hello, everyone. I'm Austin Ramsland. And I was on a training run with my wife when she told me the amazing fact that a toddler could cover the distance of 27 football fields in a single day. I thought she was crazy. And she countered by saying that she had just read about it in a book. So I looked down at my 13-month-old daughter in the baby jogger and wondered just how far she could go if there was nothing in her way. Then it occurred to me that I could find out. So I borrowed a Fitbit from a friend and set out on a three-week experiment to, co to collect data around my daughter's activity. I had a lot of questions, like, how do you measure a baby step? And would her activity spike if she was around other kids? But then I started to wonder, what would happen if you took these legs and these legs and made smaller baby legs? <laughs> There's a lot of really amazing technology out there for measuring human activity. And in each of these cases, you have carefully designed ways of managing the computer-human interaction. But what happens if the human doesn't know that the computer even exists? This is my subject, my 13-month-old daughter, Inga. She started walking at around 10 months. She had a really consistent schedule, and I was collecting data by attaching the Fitbit to the back of her diaper and then collecting data from the time that she woke up to the time that she went to bed at night. <laughs> and we got some of our first results before we logged a single step. So toddlers don't have email addresses, and they don't meet the legal requirements. And I had to tell Fitbit that I was two feet, three inches tall, <laughs> and weighed 23 pounds. <laughs> So another problem that we had to handle right off the bat was around the hardware. When you're just learning to walk, you fall down a lot. And the Fitbit broke almost immediately. Luckily, I was able to patch it together with some duct tape. And very soon, we were back in business. So one of my first findings was that science is, in fact, very messy. Inga had daycare twice a week, and I prepped the nannies, but I would come home from work only to have to dig the Fitbit out of the diaper pail. Yeah. But messier still was some of the earlier data. So Inga was spending time on the bike, in the baby jogger, and being carried around by her mom and me. And it became really clear that we were getting readings from times that she couldn't have been walking. So it, pretty much became evident that the Fitbit was going to give us a general sense of activity, but not an exact distance. So to bridge the gap, I took my Nike GPS sports watch, took her to the park, looped it through her back buckle, acquired some satellites, and let her go. And she went straight for the swings. So <laughs> we opted out of fake science and decided on playtime instead. But as you can see, she earned 92 Nike fuel points that day, which I think is a baby record. So there's a lot of technologies out there for, for measuring human activity, and they try and keep us motivated with goals and social interaction and badges. But I learned pretty early on that Inga didn't need motivation. Her steps were cons sort of constant throughout the day and consistent whether or not she was spending time with my wife or time around other kids. The days that spiked were the days that we took her running with us in the baby jogger, and the only time it really dipped down was when she got sick. Incidentally, every day I got done, uploaded the data, tweeted my results to total silence. So if you're building an app, take, take note. So my big insight was that toddlers create their world through movement. Next up is my Strava profile. It's an app that I use to to measure my cycling activity. And it gives me a map of my ride, tells me when I had a PR on a particular section, and then it tells me how I compared to every other Strava user that did the same thing. It's personal and it's social as well. Toddlers are creating their first map of the world. They are, <clears throat> so as adults, we log our miles and then resolve to do better the next day. Toddlers, on the other hand, are like little explorers. Every step is a first. Every turn leads to something new that they can hold for the first time and put in their mouth. And so I would argue that they're having a little bit more fun than us. So next time, leave the Fitbit at home, 
and just go exploring.